In this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up your iPad as a document camera. You may have noticed in your room there is a funny looking stand here, similar to the one in the photo. We are going to go over what tools you'll need, how to connect to use it as a document camera, and then a few tips along the way. You will need a iPad, and it's really important that it is connected to ASB Teachers Wi-Fi. You will also need this contraption that is going to be the iPad stand. And you'll also need to have a projector with Air Server that you can connect to. Here's the iPad stand. Let's take a look. All you have to do is pull it up here, and you can select a space next to your desk. So here, I'm just going to turn it here so that there's some open space. And then I want to put my iPad on top of there. There will be room to write underneath. Let's check out these angles. Um, this top piece is what will hold the iPad. And the bottom thing can actually twist around if you needed it to. The way that we have it set might be the best. The top piece can also twist around in case you need that to twist around as well. All right, so you can play around with this just a little bit to feel the different angles. Um, but the way we do have it set up should be the best for you um, in your classroom. As you can see, I have attached my iPad to the iPad stand. And I have some space here where I want to project my paper or whatever may be underneath here. Again, double check that you are on ASB Teachers Wi-Fi, and then you'll be ready to get started. Another thing I like to check is the angle of my camera underneath. I'm choosing to put my camera over the top left-hand side so that it has the most space. If you have the camera on this side of the iPad, it's going to project what's on this side of the iPad stand. That's not ideal. And if you have it here, it's gonna project what's more on the bottom. So I like to think of the, this camera hole being on the top left-hand side. All right, now to project onto my air server, I just need to connect. So I'm gonna pull down from the control center, select screen mirroring, and then I'm gonna look for the number. My room number is M106. So I'm gonna look for my room number here. If you use it often, remember it should be at the top. I'm just gonna look at, see what my code is. It should be appearing over here on this side of the screen, 1638. Then I'll need to enter that code 1638 into my device. Now it is going to be projecting. I can go away from the screen. I can go on to just the home button here to be on my apps. I know it's projecting now because it has a little blue button that is highlighted at the top. And now as soon as I grab my camera, it's going to be looking at what is underneath the camera and that is going to be projected onto the screen as well. The last tip is to make sure that you hold down the screen until you see this AEAF lock come on and that should appear at the top. This makes sure that it doesn't do any micro adjustments and focus in on your hand while it's moving underneath there. So let's just review the setup. We have the stand, we have the camera angled at the top left hand side of it, we're air playing, we have the lock on, and we've connected via air server on the teacher Wi-Fi network. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know.